Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Learnt AI to create a course specification. So this is the template that we're going to be filling in. We're going to generate a course title, course aim, learning objectives, a learner profile and a course structure, all using Learnt AI. So first of all, let's start with a course title. You want to head over to learnt.ai and you want to create your account or sign in if you've already got one, log in if you've already got one. And then you want to head over to generate content. Now the design specification all sits within the design um, menu option here on the left hand side. And so the first thing that we're going to look to create is a course title. Now. Here you've got two boxes for the title. You can create a short description of the course and what's the, what's the course about and then what tone are you trying to hit with the title. So let's say we're looking for a course that teaches someone how to play piano. And then let's say we want a straightforward tone to the course title. Let's generate five options for us to choose from. Uh, and Learn AI will create different versions. And you can play around with the tone and create something a little bit more place, playful if you like. But for the purpose of this, we'll just go with something fairly straightforward. Um, here we go. Learn to play the piano. Nice and simple, nice and straightforward. So there's two options. We can save it, which saves it into our My Account section which is available via the menu at the top, or we can click here to copy it, and then that will save it onto the clipboard so that we can then paste it into the um, course specification. So there we have it, we have our course title there nice and ready for us to go. Next up, we wanna create a course aim. So we will go back onto Learned AI and we'll head back we'll go back to the design section and we'll select the tool called course aim generate a course aim from a title and a short description so we've already got our title we'll paste that in be careful when you paste it in not to include the speech marks because it will um, generate an error so we've got the course title learn to play the piano and then we give a short description a six week course teaching beginners how to play the piano. Save that for later. Uh, and let's generate three course aims. Again, it will create them on the right hand side. So this six week course will provide learners with the skills and knowledge necessary to play the piano, helping them to develop an understanding of basic musical concepts, finger placement and musical notation. Um, or at the end of the six week course, participants will have developed the skills to be able to play the piano fluently and confidently. Let's go for this one here. So again, we've clicked on that button there to copy it. Head back over to here and paste it in. So there we have it, we've got a course title and we've got a course aim. Next up, we've got the learning, learning objectives. So again, head back over to Learned AI back to the tools, back to the design section and onto learning objectives. So course aim, we've already got our course aim so we can paste that in. Six week course will provide learners with the skills knowledge to play the piano. How long is it? Let's, let's take this out for the purpose of this and drop that in there, six weeks. Uh, what course level is it? So this is what educational level, let's say it's a level three program. And let's just generate two sets of objectives for us to choose from. So it should generate a set of learning objectives that sit at level three. Ready to paste into our learning specification. So here we go. Um, perform basic piano chords, identify and play major and minor chords, demonstrate the ability to read and interpret musical notation. So that's probably the nicest one here. So. We'll copy that, move back over to our design specification and paste that in ready for us to go. And then the next up we have is our learner profile. So let's move this on to another page quickly, ready for us. So 
what is it about the learner that we need to consider when building when we get around to the development stage so we head back onto our dashboard again into the design section and then learner profile here and it asks for three options what's the course title so if i grab that from over here and then strength so it what is the learners learner or learners strength uh, that we need to be aware of in terms of building their profile and do they have any particular needs so let's say that they um have a basic understanding of music already and let's say in terms of the needs um short-sighted uh, hard of sight let's generate three options for us for a learner profile the more options you generate the longer it will take so if you want something quicker you can just generate one in the number of copies box um, so there we have it a little little profile that we with, that's useful for the instructional designer when um, getting to the development stage so uh, they have a basic understanding of music already but are hard of sight and structure instructional designer considerations should be made to ensure that the course content is accessible to this learner this may include providing a larger font size audio recordings and visual aids to supplement the written material so you can see it comes up with various things and depending on what you put in as the strengths or needs it will come up with different suggestions for you that you can play around with so we select the one we want again go over back onto our design specification and paste that in pop that into the same format as the others and we are next up is our course structure so again head back finally for the last section head back over to the main dashboard of tools head over to design and then over to course structure here in the top right and then we've got three things that we need to provide so we need to provide the course title so if i copy and paste that in course description let's just use our course aim again i'll move the six weeks out and then for the course direction, I'll drop that into there. So we're generating three options for our course structure. And I found that the uh, options vary in terms of the level of detail that they can provide. So you might want to have a play around with it here. But so we've got six weeks and it gives a high level overview around some of the different things that you might want to cover. So week one, introduction to the piano, week two, basic finger movement placement, week three, week three musical notation, and so on and so forth. Um, you can play around with this, but we'll, you will select the, this one for the purpose of this demonstration. And then finally, drop that in. And there you have it. We have our design specification ready to go ready to be fine-tuned make sure everything is fit for purpose make sure it solves its needs um, and move on to the development stage now in terms of the development stage uh, there are a range of other tools in the toolkit that you can have a look at and um, we have if we move on to teaching we've got um, different group activities icebreakers uh, examples of case studies that you can drop in some analogies uh, in the um yeah in the support section sorry you got the section where you can write some blurb or expand on a particular topic so let me just as an example I'll move into the content expander i'll show you um take one of the options from week two in our course learn proper finger placement and techniques for playing the piano it will give you some extra content that you can play around with to try and try and get the creative juices flowing so you go when playing the piano it's important to learn proper finger placement techniques start by learning the basic position correct way to place your fingers etc so things to play around with there you have it a uh, course specification in under 10 minutes